Hey, I'm Bowen. We're here at Pop World headquarters just outside Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to film a game that declares itself the greatest single ball early CERN solid state, and it really is one of them. Uh, Ali with a collect bonus saucer on the right, a difficult shot, and a remakeable collect bonus, some really cool geometry of drop targets shooting into other drop targets that we'll talk about and uh, a simple game that is hard to execute and very satisfying when we pull it off. So Ali doesn't have much of a skill shot. There is uh, the spelling of Ali at the top and the L shot can be worth uh, 5,000 after Ali is completed but really at the beginning just uh, plunging wherever you think is safe. None of these are really safe. And just trying to get control of the ball out of the bumpers is critical. You can often just uh, drain directly out of the bumpers. So several goals in mind here. One is that in the back left, we have the three drop targets marked uh, in front of Rope-A-Dope. Those will advance the bonus multiplier permanently for the entire game. So two X, three X, four X, five X are available at any time. And you can just claim them and pick them up. There are also drop targets on the left side that will collect 4,000 up to 10,000 per letter in greatest, which is being spelled out as the game goes. Collected the letter A in the back. There is a lot of T's and G's and E's and everything. You can pick up letters through in lanes, through this spot target in the middle, as well as the targets on the right hand side. So I like to pick off the multiplier targets at the beginning, but also banking them off of the other three bank on the left side. So missing all of them there was not the ideal, but uh, you know, you get what you can. And those drop targets in the back can also be backhanded. And that it turns out to be pretty true for just about any of these early sterns. Backhands are very strong, so even that left hand drop can be backhanded from an early hit. Earlier earlier than that but it is there and completing all three of those will be nice and that's also one of the critical ways to get the ball under control on a lot of machines but also uh, the earliest turns so let's try one more time one more time to backhand that early shot and we have almost uh, managed to spell out greatest already get that under control uh, when the flipper and the uh, the slingshot are very close together, you can do that type of move there, which is sometimes referred to as a post catch. And a, in a post catch, you're trying to get the ball to stop right against the slingshot there and gain immediate control. So I've now spelled seven out of eight letters in greatest, just kind of bouncing around and being lucky. And the right hand side has a saucer now that is lit for 36,000 points. And say, well, do I really need to go for that? Eh, let's take other stuff. Let's take a 3x multiplier. Let's take greatest letters. Let's uh, increase the bonus value. So taking a 3x multiplier would be a good call here because then that, that will stay on for the whole game. Miss that shot. Getting some pretty good rolls here. Backhanding again is an option. And uh, stern slash valley drop there. Twice in a row. Three times in a row. All right. Um, maybe we don't uh, want to make it that way. I don't know. Maybe we just had to make greatest first before it would let me do it. All right. So where are we now? Ah, darn. Bad drain. But uh, nothing really I can do about that. What's counting off there is the letters in the word greatest and the bonus now. Uh, every completion of this left hand uh, drop target bank, jeez that was loud, every completion of this left hand drop target bank will increase the star value and that is per letter. So right now the completion of that drop target bank on the left is worth 48,000 points. And we're still trying to spell Ali, but just again keep in mind that uh, it's just not that important compared to what else is in the rest of the game. Plenty of nudging to be done here. And that was a deliberate pass into the in, in the opposite in lane. So was that. I'm not trying to aim for anything. I'm just trying to get the ball back under control. And I want to aim for that 6,000 times 8 completion here. Boom! Damn! The 
that sounds good. It sounds real good and is worth a lot of points. And it increased the value, so now that same thing is worth $64,000. let us do it again. You can backhand those uh, left-hand targets, at least I haven't been able to, unless it's a moving ball. Um, but you can still backhand the, the far left target in the multiplier. Oh, wow, I caught that other target there. And that uh, little loop there is just uh, 1,000 plus 1,000 for every greatest letter. It's generally not worth points, but you can shoot it through here in any of these drops. Uh, I find it better to just shoot for the drops directly, but that drop on the left is worth 64,000 points. So, nice miss, you know, that's how, as you do. Boingy, 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 a lot of bouncing. Just got to be patient with that bounces. Pretty big clippers here, too. So, a lot of times when you think the ball might be down the middle, it's not. But one of these big clippers can get in the way. Still not getting any good at that. Here we go. Oh, I like this countdown. Let's do it again. <laughs> Hit it for 64, hit it for 80, hit it for the bonus collects. <laughs> so, uh, I've seen a lot of players play Ali, typically shows up in Papa Classics, and that, uh, that left hand bank of drop targets is a place where I think that people can have a fair amount of improvement in their play on Ali, that uh, it's often ignored, and it is... Extremely valuable. Whoa! <laughs> Sweeping the backhand. Oh, that was lovely. All right, let's try to do it again. Get that, get that. Get that. Oh. And that's the end. Uh, we're going to keep playing, of course, but um, that is a way of gaining a pretty decent score without very much risk, and especially the risk involved in uh, aiming for the collect bonus. Well, it's still, I haven't really played a bad game yet. Maybe, uh, maybe that means this one will be the bad one. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Embarrassing. What? Nice collision there. Pick off what you can. Use the ball. Use the flippers to gain control. Get a multiplier. Get another multiplier. Get bounces up into that, which would be its bonus. And you really should be nudging on those bumpers. Get all E letters, get letters in there, and when you kind of let the ball bounce around and do whatever it wants to up there, it's going to do bad things. And that's where, like, house ball mentality comes from, saying, like, oh, I could have couldn't have done anything about that. Well, on Ali, you pretty much can. Uh, there are balls that look dangerous, they look bad, but it's really not that bad. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. Count down again. <laughs> Count me down again, collect me again. Oh. Just two of the greatest countdowns, one literally the greatest countdown. Nope. Okay. Oh, that was also a case, uh, and this is for beginner to intermediate players, of lowering your flipper after flipping it. Uh, a lot of intermediate players leave their flipper up too long, and that ball would have died if I had not lowered my uh, left flipper in time to get the right flipper on it. Do-do-do-do. do 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 do
88,000 and a flip. Uh, so greatest is worth a lot. 5x multiplier would be nice too. Ah, oh, love that shot. Why not both, right? 5x. And now you're at 5x. Of course, now the bonus collect becomes very hard. <laughs> Now the max bonus is there, 140,000 bonus. I've got 64,000 on that uh, uh, target on the left there, so let's take that. And I've also got 140,000 on this collect on the right. Yes! Max. Get again. Oh, bad shot there. Get again. Yeah. Whoop. Oh, yeah. And at some point here, you start to think about nine in the game. Yeah, count that down. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this game is so good. Um, drop target's now worth 80,000. Hole on the right worth 140. And the hole on the right is a priority, not just because it's worth more, but because it goes away. This is ball two, and don't want that uh, right saucer collect to go away without collecting it a few more times. Now that was dangerous. That was an alley pass. Again, that's the uh, one of the minor downsides of alley passing is if your alley pass is really accurate, like that one was. Oh, this is trouble. It's still trouble. Bounce over. Okay. If your alley pass is too accurate, oh, good life catch to get that under control. If your life catch goes, uh, not your life catch, if your alley pass goes too well, you're going all the way through, and uh, then the ball can come and uh, hop over. It can go up and over, it can go out completely. I was lucky not to lose the ball there. So for players who tap pass, that's usually not an issue. Players who post transfer, that's not an issue. Players who uh, get the ball over in some other means, it's not an issue. So post transfer again, just slap into the corner here. And then I hope it comes across cleanly. Let's do that one again. But that's where I say it comes across clean, cleanly. Ugh. It has to come across cleanly, and it's gone. So on this game, compared to other games, the post transfer is not a great option simply because of the geometry of this game. And I encourage players to just try the post transfer first, see how it goes, and then only after knowing the post transfer is bogus do you start really looking into alley passing and, and tap passing. It's going to hit a couple of uh, bonus advances, hopefully. Ooh, I've got that top L worth for 10000 It's huge. Huge payouts there. No, not really. Um, bonus is low. Let's go for the uh, targets on the left for 80 freaking thousand. And 80000 counts off 1000 at a time, so it's such a meltdown. Ah, uh, Ali, thank you so much. Appreciate this game, Harry Williams design, a great software, and uh, Stern Electronics knocked it out of the park. I can't wait for this game to be re-released uh, sometime in the next few years. Have a good one.